There's a video on a couple of the California compliant AR stocks or grips or whatever you want to call them here. Um, even though I'm not in California, if you travel there and get popped without having the right stuff, I believe it's a felony. So um, just trying to make something that's quick and easy to modify and um, will get me through California if I go out there. So um, this first one is Sparrow Dynamics. It's actually um, preferred over the one on, over the top. If you can see in here, this all fits nicely. This, this gap in here is very nice. And then they have probably one of the best safeties I've found on the market. It's 60 or 90 degree, which is like a lot of them. The beauty of it is, is it can index in six different positions. And so if you can see, you have one horizontal here, and then this other one is facing down. And what that does, if you have the rifle, when you go to put your finger on the trigger, it's in the way. Flick it up, safety off, it's out of the way. So that's very intuitive. It's, it's one of the most intuitive safeties that I've seen out there. Most of them either index where they're both facing the exact same direction, in which case um, it's facing straight down when it's ready to fire over here, which is obviously where your finger is, so that doesn't work. Or you can put them 180 and then it's way up high, so you're way up here trying to get that. So I like their, their safety and their grip is actually for what it is. Um, it, it's nice. It's, it's one of the nicer ones out there. This other one is uh, Exile Machine. And as you can see, it's just not quite as nice of a fit. Um, I think these guys have been out a while. Um, and their, their end here is actually, I think, good for some other states. Um, that require the butt stock to be a little bit lower, so it has that advantage. Uh, when when you grip it, it's actually more intuitive than you would think by the look of it. You, you're either going to get up here, or you're going to have two fingers on it. But it's not nearly as bad as the picture would show it. Um, and then the you're not going to be able to reach the safety on this side. I got pretty big hands, and you're just you're not going to be able to get to it. If you can see my fingers on the trigger, it's not even close. So um, that's going to be another handed operation. That's why those other safeties are so nice. It's right here. Um, and then the one mod that I'm making, I'm just filing this little plate back here, the buffer tube plate, um, down just to round it since the web of your hand sits in there now, sort of on that. Um, I just just eased it over with a file that seems to help it out quite a bit so um, if I do that and my stocks can't move um, and I have the right uh, muzzle brake rather than flash suppressor I can keep all the other functions of the rifle the same as far as mag release and everything else so um, this is a quick quick change when I get to uh, the border of California, just throw it on real quick, and I'm good to go. I, the uh, compensator on the front that I have is is not a flash suppressor, so that's fine for me. And then um, pinning the stock is not that big of a deal to me. So fairly easy, fairly straightforward.